Hi, my name is Esperto and on this channel I will share with you my passion about photography and computer technology. Important, before you purchasing this card, I would highly recommend it to research if your motherboard supports this card. I will put a link in the description below for all ASUS motherboards. Very important is that your motherboard supports bifurcation. This means that your 60 lanes of a PCI Express slot can split into 4x4 four four lanes. Hi, this is the ASUS Hyper M.2 X16 card version 2 and I will show you which type of extension card this is and what is important before you buy this card. Short disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by ASUS and I bought this card on my own. So let's start and have a look what's in the box. Let's start opening the box. Here we have the ASUS Hyper M2 16 card V2. Let's find out what is under the package. We have four bags of screws for the SSDs. We have the safety information, contact information and the quick start guide. Let's put aside the box. Now I'll unwrap the card. The most noticeable element is a massive heatsink which covers the whole front of the card. The card contains a small fan which can be manually switched on or off. Aside the switch there are four indicators for each installed SSD. Now let's open the card. We have four screws on every corner. This heatsink is really heavy. There are four thermal pads pre-installed. And this is a notch for the fan. On the right side of the card is the fan. And on the left side there are the four slots for each SSD. I've got two Samsung 970 EVO Plus 2TB SSDs to install. And finish. Let's put the heatsink back on the card, but before removing the foil from the thermal pads. Screw in the four screws on each corner. Now the card is ready to install 
into your system. I have an ASUS ROG Strix X570F gaming motherboard. To use the card we have to switch to advanced in the BIOS, then go to onboard devices configuration and go down to PCI Express 16 slot 1 bandwidth configuration configuration and switch from auto mode to PCI Express rate mode. Also the text below mentioned that you have to set this option to use a hypercard. Now save the changes and leave the BIOS and restart your computer. Now go to the Windows Disk Management and if everything works fine you will see your installed SSDs. To use your new SSDs you have to create a new volume for each SSD. Well, let's end this video here. If you like this video, give it a thumb up. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.